Hi everyone, welcome to Star Shelter. So this is a zero gravity survival game. You can move around, like in Lone Echo. You just grab on to the wall or the environment. And you can use your wrist thrusters to pull yourself forward, move through open space. So I'm just going through this ship right now, trying to get to an escape pod because uh, we crashed and we're screwed. So it's time to evac. But the game is a survival game where you just try to survive and scavenge supplies in zero gravity, open space environments and derelict ships and stuff. Which is really awesome. Like this locomotion system is, is super fun to play with. Okay, so this is actually a tutorial. Pick up my gun. There's a little bit of shooting in this game, but not that much. Just have to kill some automated defense turrets sometimes. Okay, now I'm gonna get in the escape pod. Get off this ship. Oh, activate. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This is so cool in VR. It's like it closes you in this tight little space. Oh man. Wake up procedure initialized. Compiling manual for the Core XS3 suit. Okay. I'm back. I'm alive. This is me, Jay Henry. 19 years old. <laughs> there goes the escape pod. And here I am out in space. This is the SS origin. I have marked the entrance in your UI. So we basically crash landed in the space version of the Bermuda Triangle. There's just crazy wrecks and derelict ships everywhere. And I gotta go around to them and try to scavenge up supplies. Uh oh. Maybe approach a little bit slower here. Okay. So, what do we have here? A can of tuna. Turn it into biomatter <laughs> and metal. And put it in my little material inventory. So that's all well and good, but oh, that's a cup. But we should probably go somewhere else because what we actually need is oxygen and power to continue powering my little dematterization computer thing in my finger. See some oxygen. Uh, whoops, that's my gun. And then just shove it right in your chest. Oh yeah. Scoop up that glass. And then this will help me out with my power. Unfortunately that oxygen wasn't quite enough. So I'm gonna go back to my little base here. Charge on oxygen here. Okay. Oops. Pull the crank. All right. Seal it up. And now I'm in my awesome little home base, where I have a flower growing. Give me oxygen. Just charging up my suit. I also have a solar panel facing the sun. So I can charge up my suit in here. And you do all this stuff through the crafting menu. So I could make an air condenser, put it on the inside of the spaceship to save up oxygen that is not used. Or a power station, which is the same thing with power. 
Or another plant pot. Oh, there's a comet incoming. Oh no, it's gonna smash into the wall. I'm gonna have to repair it. So you do have to keep your little uh, little ship here in shape. You can also put like metal plates and stuff, shields, turrets on the exterior to help protect against these sort of threats like asteroids or little drones that attack you. Looks like I can't actually do much in here right now. I'm just recharging my oxygen. So you can go outside and get a better look at that asteroid that's about to ram me. Oh, no, I think I just heard it. <laughs> but we can inspect the damage out here. Oh, there it goes. Yep. Slammed in the side. Now I gotta repair this. As long as you have the materials, it's pretty easy. Just point and click. And see, earlier I crafted a solar panel. And then you like run up here with your little solar panel and you place it. Make sure it's facing the sun. So uh, I'm in pretty good shape right now with my little place. I got oxygen power, that's all I really need to survive. I just gotta make sure I don't get caught out too far or I'll die. But you can keep the little upgrades that you build. Oh, there's another comet. You keep the upgrades that you build, like the flower pot and the solar panel. Even if I die, those will stick around. All right, I'm gonna ignore that comet. Class one comet is incoming. Just hope it doesn't hit my solar panel. Let's check out this ship. It's got no body in this game. Just a bunch of inventory. Warning. Class one comet is incoming. All right. Got a little derelict here. Don't want to be messing around with that. Oh, I love these little buttons that you just press in the game. Okay, and this looks like a little puzzle. Flipping this switch. Flip it all the way, come on. I don't really know what it does though. Probably have to like plug something in there. This game is made by the people who made a conductor and a boat. Some other pretty cool VR games. Oh, oh shit. I got way too close to that. Alright, I should actually be like looking around for stuff I can salvage here. Got some cargo movers, these things. I don't actually know how to get into these crates. Not enough power. Oh, I'm running out of power too. I gotta get back to my base. This ship was like useless. Most of the doors are locked. Oh, I'm running out of oxygen too. Alright. Go, go, go. Okay. Bounce out to my base ASAP. Oh no, oxygen depleted. Okay, well, I can listen to my slow oxygen death now because I can't use my thrusters anymore. And I'm not on a proper vector here. So, uh, so much for this life. Impact. Game over. I made it 15 minutes. Not bad. Procedure initialized. Compiling manual for the core access. All right. Booting user interface. So then you respawn, but look, I'm someone completely different now. 40 years old. K. Hope. I have marked the entrance in your UI. All right, thank you. So now I just got to scavenge more materials. That's what this game's all about. This game just came out. It's an early access game. Uh, so they have more on the roadmap right now. It's just scavenging and building stuff for your base, and then you try to get a bunch of fusion cores 
to beat the game. Warning. Which I have not managed to do yet. Oh, there's a comet incoming. There's two comets incoming. Okay. I need some debris that I can like pick up and knock the comet off course with. I don't see anything around here. Impact averted. Oh, nice. <laughs> the comet hit the uh, satellite. That's right, stupid comet. Huh. Ouch. We just took a hit. Uh, I'm like too distracted by these comments, by these comets, and just floating around in space. It's so nice and serene and peaceful. Sometimes in this game, you're just like, yeah, I'm out in space. And then it's like, oxygen level is like, hello, and you're going to die. But not this time. Because I'm right here at my base this time. Okay. All right. Give me that oxygen. Thank you very much. Let's sniff this flower. Ah, uh, you can actually open your uh, your helmet. Oh yeah. Nice oxygen. Let's take a look at the view. And then there's all sorts of stuff you can interact with with this virtual menu. I don't even know what this is. How about ship's oxygen? I guess you can upgrade that with these little uh, things that you find. And then with the crafting, you can also build upgrades to your suit. So you can like upgrade the oxygen capacity, power, thrusters. You just have to find these special parts like batteries and compressors. And you can look at the map see little representations of all the wreckages and stuff around you to help plan out your trip for maximum oxygen conservation. And you can also look at the archive, which is just a bunch of information about the game. Like the objective, you have to find four fusion cores in order to get the hyper jump working again. Okay. Instead of just sitting around, slowly waiting for my oxygen to refill, I'll just cozy up in this bed and go to sleep. Ah. <laughs> All right. Now I should have plenty of oxygen, I hope. Yeah, 200 oxygen. See, it's just your classic survival game. You get your hunger, your energy, your health, and your oxygen. Wow, thanks for the useful info about my objective, and thanks for beeping at me so much just to give me nothing. <sighs> okay. It is really access. Usually the objective thing works. That's the first time I've seen that happen. Uh, oh shit! Okay, okay. I understand what happened now. <laughs> All graphic interfaces off, right? No, no, no. I did have my helmet open though, and it went out into open space, so that was pretty stupid. Oh shit. Give me that. Shit. I wanted to grab that asteroid. Yeah, I got the asteroid. Maybe we got this other part too. Put them back together. Hmm. They knock each other away. <laughs> they don't want to be together. Right, learning all sorts of stuff about space physics and asteroids. Oh, that's why I love these space games. I'll keep this thing though to help shield off other asteroids. Alright, don't go too far. Where did it go? <laughs> Where'd my asteroid go? Oh shit! No! <laughs> Satellite! 
Okay, it just lightly tapped my base. It wants to join the fleet. Welcome. I will accept your sacrifice of these glass panels. Oh, it's like too close to even use my proper thing now. See, when you're close to your base, your tool is like a building tool. When you get far enough away, it becomes the regular disintegration tool. Ooh, circuit board. Why is my finger going all limp? There we go. Okay, oh no, yes, I just got it. You can also do two at once. Uh, they're too far away from each other, though. Alright, no more of this crap. Oh, the sun's in my eyes. The massive, massive sun. Let me keep my eyes out for oxygen. Oh. That's not what I need. Just look for something blue. It's floating in the air. This isn't it, but it is an oxygen plant, and you can put these in your physical Warning. inventory. Class one comet is incoming. Oh, shit, what a comet. Oh, there's oxygen, a little bit. No, it's not even oxygen, it's like a chip. Oh, Warning. shit, I gotta get back to my Class base. Class one comet is incoming. Okay, I aimed myself properly this time. If I can make it before I run out of air. I might be able to climb into the base, <laughs> but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. No, 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 my comfy bed. All right. Oxygen level depleted. I died again. Wake up okay. procedure initialized. So let's see who I am now. Compiling manual for the core access three suit. Including user interface. Warning. Okay, boot me up. Incoming. R Hazlitt. That's a cool name. 30 years old. A good age. Let's go. Oh shit. Right into the trajectory of a comet. This is the SS origin. I have marked the entrance in your UI. Alright. Shield against this comet. Go forth. This thing's heavy. Oh wait, we're in zero gravity. Oh no. No. I keep pushing off instead of pushing it away from me. The comet got me. Okay. I'm having way too much fun playing with the comets. <laughs> And this is a summary of my experience with this game so far. But I am slowly collecting materials and building stuff. So eventually, eventually I'll have a pimped out base. I'm just happy that I got the flower plot, plant, <laughs> the flower pot, and uh, the solar panel. So I have energy and oxygen. Okay, let's go over to this big ship. And hope I find some oxygen in there. Oxygen level at fifty percent. Alright, fifty percent. That's plenty. Okay, I hope this isn't the one I already looked at. They all look sort of the same. Well, not really, but there are some similarities. Hmm. Oh god. Run. Okay. Oh shit, I forgot to charge my gun. <laughs> That's really cool. When you shoot the gun, it like sends you flying back. Okay. We charge it all the way up for four shots. Boom. Get wrecked. See what we can find in here. Hmm. Cock 
pit. What? My oxygen's already depleted? That's messed up. Alright. I'm hacking. Put that in that folder. Oh my god, I'm falling down. Okay, there we go. No, I failed to hack. Here we go. I'm just trying to hack the computer while I die. I'm trying to distract myself, but here we go. Oh, I didn't make it very long that time. I just keep suffocating over and over again. Because even when you find a little oxygen thing out there, it's like, yes, I found oxygen. You give it to yourself and it gives you like 10% of a bar. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go out there one more time. Go as fast as possible. Not waste any time. Alright, I see a blue thing there. That's probably oxygen. And the cool thing about your physical inventory is that you can store these things in there. If you already have a bunch of oxygen. And that's not oxygen, I thought that might be. Okay. And you can take it out and shove it in there. And even if this thing has more than your maximum, it just stays in there. And as you lose oxygen, it pumps it back into your suit. Okay, so that's pretty sweet. Give me this. Gives me a lot of glass, which is useful, and metal. I like that that satellite is still there, still hanging out in my base. Maybe it realized that that was the only way to save itself from being salvaged. You never know, this is like the Bermuda Triangle. So the people who made this game are the people who made, uh, Conductor, which was another cool VR game that I played. I didn't actually make a video about it because it was like a puzzle game <laughs> and I really suck at puzzles and I like got stuck like early on and I was like, oh, fuck this game, fuck stupid puzzle games, but I did <laughs> think it was a cool game, like super immersive and uh, atmospheric, just like this game. So with this game, they went for survival. There are like puzzles, there's like hacking puzzles. Maybe I can find one in this base up here. Oh, but I see, like, blue oxygen. Yeah. Ooh, and an item up there. And then I'll go into that base. Oops, get rid of that. Throw that in there. What is this? It's like lotion. I don't need that. Oh, that was the thing I want. So yeah, they went the survival route with this game, which is really cool. Because it's actually like pretty in depth for a VR game, just based on the whole like complicated crafting and and uh, gathering system. Throw that in there. And uh, yeah, it works really well because this locomotion system is so awesome. Like I love this zero gravity locomotion. It was amazing in Lone Echo, and it's amazing this game. Okay, I'll go back. I won't die again <laughs> from, from suffocating. But yeah, I just love this locomotion. It works so well. And, uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of teleportation. And even these days, like sliding locomotion, I'm just like, eh, whatever. Because it's kind of like super artificial. But this, you can get so immersed and so into the game with this zero gravity locomotion just because it feels so good. You can just like climb around your ship. Like, ah. Oh. Got the stars. Let's check my little message here. Grow a plant. See, I already did all that. But thanks, I guess. Okay, so that has been my first impressions of this game. It is an early access game and uh I didn't even like get that far in it yet, so that's a good sign that you can actually play this game a lot. There's a lot to learn and do in this game in terms of stuff that you can craft and add to your ship in terms of actually beating the game. 
So I had a lot of fun playing it. Just the zero gravity locomotion, like I was saying, is so like natural but fun, and it just uh, makes the game so much better. Like I would play Lone Echo and just like fly around the space station like this because it was so fun. Even though the game itself, like the story, and it's like a really cool game, but it's not like it doesn't have a lot of replayability. But I would still just log on and be like, yeah, Lone Echo, <laughs> flying around. Zero gravity. And now you can do that in a game that has a lot of replayability because it's a survival game and you're constantly dying and, and uh, trying to survive and going out and exploring these randomly generated little scenarios is a lot of fun. And the devs seem pretty passionate about it. I watched their like dev vlog and uh, they were talking about their plans for the game and it seems like they got a good head on their shoulders and uh, They've made a couple VR games before, which were really cool. So I'm looking forward to the future of this game. Looking forward to future updates and stuff, and I'll definitely check it out some more. Oh no, the asteroid nailed me right in an important looking panel. That's okay. Just heal it up. And yeah, it's a $15 game, Star Shelter. So check it out if this, uh, if the survival genre is something that you like, I personally actually don't really like survival games. I like don't like puzzle games or survival games, so it's not like I really even li like the games that this company or the genres that this company uh, tends to make. But just the immersion and the locomotion makes it so fun that I can I can forgive it being a survival game, and I appreciate the fact that it gives you like a lot of stuff to do and like things to figure out, as opposed to a lot of VR games that are just simple or or non-repetitive and don't give you much of a reason to actually just kind of roam around and uh, just get lost and immersed. So yeah, it's a great game for that. And uh, check out my channel if you want to see some more virtual reality gameplay content. And please subscribe and leave a like. And have a great day. And goodbye. It takes place in space. Zero gravity. You can just toss yourself around. You can grab onto any surface and use it to move around. It's so cool. And it feels so natural. And then you also have your directional thrusters.